And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. We had at least 60 homes and businesses damaged or destroyed today from a derecho, a massive Boeing straight line wind event that came out of Oklahoma and Kansas, blasted through Missouri, and all that's left of it is this little green line right here in northwest Illinois. But notice some of the storms reinvigorating themselves here in far eastern Missouri, and certainly. Uh, there's still going to be some severe weather in Missouri and parts of western Illinois during the evening hours. But thankfully, as this band moves eastward with time, it is going to weaken as it outruns the best moisture and the best wind dynamics. So a little band of showers and a few storms in the morning for tomorrow. And also, notice the pink here. That's the fire weather warning we've got in effect for very high brush fire danger right into the evening hours. Now notice on Futurecast though how we cloud up during the evening and overnight hours. In fact, we will be totally overcast by midnight tonight. Notice on 3D here with Futurecast, you can see as the clouds continue to thicken and increase during the evening hours. If we could go to 3D really quickly here, notice on Futurecast, there we go. There's 10 o'clock tonight becoming cloudy. Uh, there's that band of rain and a weakening line of storms. Early tomorrow morning, I think we could be raining over especially the western half of our viewing area by dawn tomorrow morning. This band will pass through with a quarter to four tenths of an inch of rain by the noon hour. Then I think we may actually get a break from noon to about maybe two, three o'clock in the afternoon. The sun may peak out a little bit and after temperatures fall into the, fifth, uh, fall into the 50s with the rain, we may warm up in the mid-60s, and then as the actual cold front goes through, some isolated thunderstorms may form on the actual cold front. And a couple of those may produce a little hail, perhaps a little bit of wind. However, the development of any isolated storm will depend on how much sun we see. And tomorrow night, we clear out, cool off, patchy fog, lows in the upper 30s. And then by next week, we'll watch the severe weather threat by Tuesday evening. Uh, with a threat of a line of storms with widespread damaging winds. Clouding up, some showers towards dawn, 64 tonight, 66 tomorrow, that band of rain and a few storms in the morning, then a couple isolated storms on the cold front in the afternoon. Nice Easter Sunday at 68 degrees, but we warm up very nicely, perhaps a few scattered storms along a warm front on Monday afternoon, but Tuesday evening will be the time to watch. Still looks like a potential of a line of storms with a wind threat passing during the late evening hours. I notice the highs sharply colder later next.